Good day, beautiful human beings. It's our second day in Malta, specifically Gozo. The gals, aka my sister and her friend Kat, they have left and they went rock climbing this morning, which is not my jam, but they're all into that rock climbing world. So if you are as well, you should connect with them. I'll put their Instagrams down below, but I have spent the morning I moved this comfy chair out onto the balcony and my gosh, the sunshine makes such a difference. Like look at this setup, that chair, this view while working, but the sun is so warm and then I'm like chilly inside. So right now I have on a tank top, but I also have on fleece socks. Tell me how that makes sense. Anyway, it's a 12 o'clock. 12, 15, I'm getting hungry. So I'm starting lunch prep because when the gals come home, they're also gonna be super hungry from rock climbing. So we bought groceries yesterday as I showed you and we're making sandwiches for lunch. So help me prep some sandwiches. <laughs> Katie and I are mostly vegan, but I will join Kat in eating cheese. We bought some Emmental cheese, since I won't eat meat. We got hummus as basically our protein source. Also got some mustard and some apparently seriously good mayo. Salt and pepper. Picked up some rye bread from a Maltesian from David's Bakery which is in Gozo. We can see that. So thank David. Thanks, David. <laughs> yes, we've got some cheese. Oh, and Kat does eat meat. So we've got some Italian prosciutto. I think I'm gonna wash these strawberries and cut them up for the gals as well. This lettuce was 50 cents. 50 cents, euro. It's time to make my sandwich. Dang, look at that beautiful. I'm pretty stoked on this lunch. I've got my Fanta, which we were able to buy a bottle together for a Euro 50, and a pretty epic sandwich. Bon appetit. P.S. the strawberries definitely taste different in Malta than in Canada. They're juicy, but they're not really sweet. <laughs> it's, it's a nice change of pace. I mean, if it wasn't for tourists, it would just be dead, basically. What do most people, are most people retired or like how do they make their income? Most of the tourism. Oh, it is, okay. But I mean, there is other stuff. I mean, this island's really big for grapes. I mean, they've got your vines going Yeah, right. we had some rosé last night from. Yeah, the wine here is quite tasty. Yeah, I liked it. There's, there's, there's sort of new technologies coming in now, but it's, it's such a laid back island. It, it, is that why you came here? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't come for the weather because being Scottish, I'm not really keen. Yeah. <laughs> we're Canadian, so yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. this is hot for like you can see we're in tank tops and shorts and people still yeah. have pants on. Yeah, but it's not temperatures. It's still it's up to twenty two. No walking in the summer when climbing in the winter. And now do you bolt? Is that your <laughs> No, I'll only do this part time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought it was funny. We are still on the island of Gozo, but we have made it to the salt pans, which the water comes up over to the rocks and the wind, and when the tide goes back down between May and September, they harvest the salt. It's only about 21 degrees here, but it feels like 30, and apparently it can go all the way up to 49 degrees Celsius. Which is crazy. Where are you? That's so cool. Well, I think that like, would happen every day. Put a 
cigarette pack. Oh, here's some salt for me. Oh. Oh lordy. There's a hole. Forming right here. Water down. It's okay, I got it. Yeah, but I I care about the water, but I don't really care about the water. I care. Okay, hold my bag. You can put it back in. I'm gonna hold my bag this whole time. This is what happens when you're the non-adventure sister. Let the kids explore. Water place for me too. So I think we should stay in this area. Cheers with your water, Katie. <laughs> Cheers to the view. Cheers. We just stopped at a little beach cafe. Cat had a little summer's bee. I had a mojito that we thought didn't have alcohol in it because it was so good, but it, I now feel it does. And as discovery, <laughs> there was alcohol in there, in fact. And Katie had a granola bar. <laughs> We're just now walking down the street, basically wasting time, but it's beautiful until we go and have dinner at Otter, which was suggested by our Bolt driver. A quick tip is there's no Uber here, there's no Lyft here, but there is something called Bolt, which is the same concept. You can download the app even if you're on an American or Canadian iTunes store. The cool thing is you don't have to tip at the end, whereas Uber would make you tip, making it even more expensive. So we found for three people, it was a 20 minute ride versus an hour and 20 minute bus ride for us. So for 16 euros divided by three, I think it was well worth it because we would have just been arriving now. We're just gonna keep walking around. You hear a lot of honking because when there's any garbage truck or big truck, they want you to know that they're coming around the corner. So they seem to honk a lot. This restaurant was also recommended to us from our Bolt driver. And it looks like it's about 8.50 for the cheapest pizza. And you can definitely go up in price if you want to get any kind of meat and some of the fish options. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 
All right, we got the Fisherman's Feast, vegetarian pasta with some mashed potatoes, more veggies because Katie, I think, psychically asked for more vegetables. <laughs> Always. All with a good view. We're all back into our sweaters and coats because once the sun is gone, it is chilly. We suggest going to Otters for dinner. Very kind server. Very cute. <laughs> uh, Katie <laughs> got us all free lemoncello shots, so I would suggest a great success. Asking your server for different tours and suggestions of where to go and where they're from, because that's a great conversation starter when you're traveling <laughs> and a great way to get. We have found that people in Gozo are, or at least the servers are not from here, so it's a very international crowd. So it's a good conversation starter, as Katie said. And yeah, we got a free limoncello in the end. And an Instagram handle follower. <laughs> an Instagram follower. And he got your autograph. So. <laughs> anyway, you but it seems like we tried to figure out if you tip or not in Malta, so and the server, or the credit card machine when it was done, had tip on it. Like not on the machine, but on the receipt but not on the machine it asked me to tip. So I wrote a, t a small tip because most places in Europe you don't tip, but it seems like maybe five to 10%, like a, you know, a, a euro or two is customary, but that could be just a tourist thing. It's quite chilly though, but we're gonna walk along the seawall here, walk a little bit off of dinner. It was delicious. The fisherman's feast and the vegetarian pizza. And Local Croatian dishes are rabbit and octopus. The Croatian? <laughs> Wait, come on. Say it again. I panic on the camera. Local Maltese. Maltese? <laughs> Local dishes from Malta are rabbit and octopus, is what I learned on my rock climbing tour today. <laughs> They either come in cheese, spinach, or peas, and they're little pastries. And they're triangle if you want a more filling one, and circle if you want a less filling one. That's a, a pastry, a savory pastry, like an empanada. And they're about 50 cents, so a great way to fill up for cheap. They're kind of like an empanada, but with more phyllo pastry. And Maltin, Maltesian food is influenced mostly by Italy and West Africa because they're pretty close to West Africa. And their wine is very good, but our first server said don't have the white wine with green label, which now we're curious why don't have the white it wine. It tastes like water, water apparently. Like water. We don't want that. But we've had really good luck with rosé, so we highly suggest the rosé. It's more sweet, even if it says it's dry, it's sweet. I got the girls into vlogging. <laughs> We're on hike number one of the day, I guess, technically. There's a beautiful view out to our side here. You can see the marina, the water, the lovely sunset. There's a lovely mountain over there being crucified. There's a lovely, however many story apartment, lots of nature, roads, cars, cranes. <laughs> this is just so much is going on. <laughs> How, how did your vlogging session go? It was so good. We are only we're doing a side vlog to so, Emma's main vlog. We'd like to say that Malta is a very walk-friendly neighborhood. It's only a two-hour walk <laughs> home to our Airbnb from the restaurant. We're feeling great. I would recommend getting a glass of wine with dinner because <laughs> because can't makes... drink any of it and then your friends can have all the rest. <laughs> and it makes your walk home feel much faster. <laughs> when oh, it's two are, hours. Things are going quite fast for me right like now. Just keep in mind the cars are on the other side of the road, so we're hug tight to the traffic. shoulder because we're walking into traffic, which is safer so they can see you. But we're not walking the whole way home. <gasps> we're just walking enough <laughs> to walk off wine. <laughs> and dinner and you then we're gonna catch a bolt Excuse me. because the buses don't come for like the buses are good but they don't come often 
and they don't come on time very much either, we have found out. So you just have to show up at the bus stop and wait and hope a bus will come eventually. So if you're really on a budget, yes, buses are your best route to go. Or your feet. If you Shoeless have friends or can, or can splurge a little bit, I would take a bolt. Honestly, we probably should have just rented a car. Why do you, why do you sound out of breath on this vlog? Because <laughs> we're walking up a hill. We're hiking. And all I do is walk. I don't rock view, climb, I but I feel like we're going <laughs> into the random, random mountains. Our last Bolt driver also told us there is a major developer here whose name I unfortunately forget. But what's happening is he's building into the hillsides, basically building retaining walls in anticipation of developing condos, homes, and it's a little bit of a free-for-all of who's building. I don't have a good demonstration right now. Hopefully one day I'll catch that footage. But for now, we're gonna check out this sick sunset. With this beautiful sunset behind me, we're gonna end tonight's vlog. We will make it home safe and sound, I promise you, but my camera. <laughs> Battery is dying, so girls, say good night. Good night. We will live to see another day, hopefully. Good night. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, give this video a like and subscribe so we can keep traveling together. And comment below if you like seeing the three of us together versus just me solo. Adds a little dynamic to the mix. We like three better. <laughs> also, feel free to, to buy Cat and I a coffee as well on the page because we need that espresso to keep the vlog going <laughs> for the people. <laughs> Good night, we'll catch you next time. So a little chunky. <laughs> I make money on my mouth. Yes. I'm gonna get some B-roll for you. So it's not a it's not a Friday like Anna believes it is. It's I thought it was a Friday. Local Croatian door. <laughs> <laughs>